name's Amanda and you're watching the Hoops Paranormal. Today we are here at the Warlock's Grave here in New Philadelphia in Ohio. Uh, we heard about the urban legend about the Warlock's Grave and we decided to come and visit it for ourselves. Today we brought along the dowsing rods, the K2 meter, and we have the Ghost SLS and Ghost Tube we're going to try out as well and do the Necrophonic app here and see if we can get anything. We were interested to check out this location. So today we're taking you along with us. So let's go. You have to walk a little bit to get over to this as well. But it's pretty simple. And there are signs saying no pets permitted and no trespassing between dusk till dawn, so night to day. So we're going to go ahead and see what we can do. And there's not many graves here by the looks of it. But it from like what oh. I. what it say? Behind you. Behind you or me? It said behind you. Huh. It looks like the Warlock's grave is up here at the top of the hill. That's probably like a sheriff over here. Where? Oh, yeah. Or someone, law enforcement at least. Here's the Warlock's grave. No markings, but this is what everyone is saying is the Warlock's grave. You might want to explain what the urban legend is. EMF reader. The legend of this is there was a Warlock back in the I think late 1800s that was beheaded that they beheaded and buried here and they buried his head down by his feet and then each year apparently the head inches or gets a little closer to the head and once the head gets up to where it would connect to the neck the warlock would come back and wreak havoc on the area so today we're going to see if we can communicate and see what's actually here or not. So stay tuned. Help. So literally this cemetery is not very big. We are standing at the Warlock's grave. And it's literally this little bit right here. So we have... The ghost SLS going and the only thing it's picked up so far is behind you in case you didn't hear it before and now I'm gonna day. have it says day yes we are here during the day and then Kevin's going to set up the necrophonic app while we have the k2 meter Is there anything here with us right now? There we go. It's lighting up to orange. Are you the warlock? 
It's going crazy. Go ahead and turn it on. We are here at the Warlock's grave. Is the Warlock still here with us? Yes. Is the legend true that you were beheaded? Yes. Is the legend true that when your head reattaches, you'll come back from the dead? It's not like I said I'm sorry. Were you actually beheaded? Yes. Up here, it's lighting up to orange. Is so, there anything you want to tell us? The K2 meter is going off like crazy. And as you could see, I put it up to the phones and it goes off. Yes. Can you light, can you light the K2 meter up to at least orange? As you can see, the K2 meter goes nuts when it's around the phones. It picks up the phone. But when I put it in the air, away from the phones, it's still lighting up like crazy. Can you touch the K2 meter to let us know you're here? <laughs> Do you mean harm? I hear that I hear that anybody that mocks the warlock has bad luck. Is that true? Yes. We're gonna say stressed. stressed. Are you feeling stressed? Lady. Lady? That's either me or there's a lady here that's feeling stressed. Could be you because you're always stressed. It could be me that's stressed. We're going to say a prayer. Okay, dear God, please watch over us. Please watch over our viewers. Please protect us from evil, from harm. Do not let anything touch us or attach to us or attach to our equipment. Um, anything that is here must stay here. And... What do you, is there anything else that I'm missing? No, that's good. All right. Amen. Something's making noise, and I swear to God, it's in your pocket. Can't I don't have anything in my pocket. It sounds like water droplets. Is that coming from the SLS? 
No, it's... Because it's really creepy. Maybe, maybe there's a lake trapped. Well, we don't live in Florida, so I don't have to worry about alligators. Is it okay? Why are you here? <gasps> it just asked, why are you here? We are here. We are here to make communication with the warlock or anybody that wants to, anyone that wants to um, come through and talk with us. I'm going to take a quick break and I will be right back. Okay, as I was taking my break for a little bit, we had a couple words pop up. We had, why are you here? We had old, it, it at least get me in. and just now we had over here. So over here, where is I over mean, here I've, at? I've dealt with Jersey and all that before, or uh, DC and that in the past too. Where are you located over here? Is there anything you want to tell us? I think it said denied. Do we have permission to come back here and speak with you guys? Wanting to become friends, we want to just communicate with you and come through and let you tell your story, your message. Is there anything you want to say to us? Okay, they're turning. Yep. What do you want to tell us? How did you die? Sound like slow. Also, it said over here when we took our break. <laughs> Where are you at in here? Peace. How, how many spirits are with us? How many spirits are here with us? I heard a, I heard a number, but... 
Do you want us to leave? Stay. Do you enjoy visitors? There's a car going by. Yeah. I think it said, oh my. Do you like people coming here to visit? As long as they are respectful. Are you evil? No. no. Are you lying? Person. It's kind of cool you guys are buried in the side of a hill. Yeah. That was like throwing a party, yeah. Who is buried at the top of the hill? Whose grave are we at? Yeah. Are we at a warlock's grave? <laughs> Car coming. Are we at the warlock's grave? I think it said yeah. Can you say warlock? Yes. Missed you. Missed you? Over here. Over where? Where are you located? Drowned. I wonder if it's answering some of our questions. How'd you die? Drowned? It sounds like water. Do we want to go down there? Yeah. We're going to walk over to another grave. You can keep talking to us if you'd like. Do you want us to go to this grave? Over here in the far corner with the flag on it? It's older. So, I said, yeah. It I looks like it's someone with law enforcement. So we're going to see if we can before. find out for sure. Do you want me to Google? While I sit here. No. Let's see what we can get. So we're gonna try the Necrophonic app here as well. You can sit down. Good. Hello. Whose grave are we at? Mine. Were you in law enforcement? Hmm. Or 
organized composed of veterans of the Union Army. <laughs> Which side were you on, the Union or Confederate? Do you want us to leave? I heard yes and I heard no. Which is it? Do you want us to leave? Yes or no? Oh. Alright, there's, there's a picture of this grave. And it said this is to honor Warlock. Is this for the Warlock? Was the warlock back in the war? Go ahead and pause it for a minute. Sometimes people leave candles burning on his grave and went back days later and it was still burning. Reason behind this would be because the more warmth and light that gets closer to his grave, it helps his head move closer to his neck. There was a church behind the cemetery from 1850 to 1877. There was an abandoned house on the same side of the road, a few hundred yards from the grave where the warlock killed everyone at, was at that house. This is warlock's real grave. The brick is at the bottom of the grave is where his head is at. So, so that's the real grave up there. The real grave is up there. This is an honor. This is Warlock's gravestone. It has worn out over the years and isn't in good shape. Hmm. So I'm going to leave that website in the description for anybody that wants to check that out we'll leave a link in the description below I don't really get a creepy feeling while we're here either I had something touch my neck other than that and it's like hard to breathe but I don't know if it's like just because it's really hot out All right, we can go ahead and do the spirit box for a couple more. Are the other graves here the victims from the warlock killing them? Is he Kevin? Yep. I'm not getting anything on the SLS. I did, because I got your leg. Yes. Is there anyone else here that wants to say anything before we go? Or do you just want us to go? Comes another vehicle. Are you done talking to us? No. Right? Comes another vehicle.
Yeah. Who are the other people buried here? Is it a family? I wonder if it's the family he killed. Any final words for us? Do we have permission to come back and talk some more? What's behind me? Is the warlock behind my wife, Amanda? Yep. Can you show yourself on camera? Are you the one that touched my wife's neck? I get hurt to go. Do you want us to go now? Every time I get there or I get here, it's like behind you. So this corner. Is there something in this corner back by the tree? Is that where he's at? Is that where the warlock lingers? Well, we're gonna go ahead and leave. Just remember, you are not allowed to attach yourself to us or any of our equipment. Say goodbye. Can you say goodbye for us? Goodbye. So we got some really good EVPs. I'm still running the SLS right now. So in case if something comes through. Every time we've walked in through this gate, this is the only way to come in. We took a couple steps and about the third pole, the SLS tube said behind you. Said behind you. And then any time we then we sat here, here in this area, it is said behind you as well. It just said behind you. So, so in between here and there, which is about the entrance to the cemetery, so about this tree entrance way, something Trap. is something is wanting to be known Hello. and.
it says hello and trapped. Um, so it sounds friendly. It doesn't seem like we're, you know, anything demonic. Um, my chest is heavy. So we'll have to go back and listen. I believe it said that it was causing that. I was feeling like somebody went like this. Kevin had a phone call. So we took a, a little break. I updated you guys on the list of words that was said during our break. Um, apparently from the website, I'm going to link everything down in the description. Um, the Warlock's real grave is back in this corner. But apparently the headstone next to it is its real headstone. And then this one was in honor of the warlock so it almost seems like everything in the cemetery is for the warlock um these couple graves here the only one that's readable is maria or martha i'm going to put a picture of her headstone in the video she's the only one that's you're able to read Um, the article I did read say that there was a church and a house, an abandoned house back here, and apparently the warlock killed everybody in that house. So, um, I don't know if maybe these graves were the people that they had killed since it was kind of like right here. Um, we just discovered this place. Did some research on it this morning and decided to come here. So, um, this was real interesting. It's not too far from us. So, we would like to come back. It sounded like they said that they wanted us to come back. So, if we're going to listen back, and obviously, I'm going to put in the captions what we heard. <laughs> Excuse me. So, if you heard anything else, please put that down in the comments. And obviously you're going to know in the captions if they told us to come back or not. I would really like to and be able to honor him. I don't want to make a mockery of him. Um, I have read that people that have came here and mocked the warlock had bad luck and had like near death experiences. So we don't want to do that. Um, we prayed. We told them that, you know, they got to stay here. So, um, it's a small, nice little cemetery. So, we should definitely be back. Thank you for coming along with us today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please remember to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Comment what you heard down below or any thoughts you had on today's video. And share this out so others can see it. And we will see you in the next video.